and now he fights for his life. And when DeMar Hamlin falls to the turf and when you see the medical staff rush to the field and both teams are on the field, you realize this isn't normal. You realize this isn't just football. And so many times in this game and in our job as well, we use the cliches, you know, I'm ready to die for this. I'm willing to give my life for this. It's, it's time to go to war. And I think sometimes we use those things so much, we forget that part of living this dream is putting your life at risk. And tonight, you know, we got to see a side of football that is extremely ugly, a side of football that no one ever, that side of football that no one ever wants to see or never wants to admit exists. When you see both teams on the field crying in that way, the first thought is DeMar Hamlin. The second thought is his family. And this isn't about a football player, right? This is about a human. This is about a brother. This is about a son. This is about a friend. This is about someone who is loved by so many that you have to watch go through this. I, uh, I dealt with this before, and I watched my teammates for days come to my hospital bed and just cry. I had them call me and tell me that they didn't think I was going to make it, and now this team has to deal with that, and they have no answers. Mm -hmm. And so the next time I think that we get upset at our favorite fantasy player <laughs> or we're, we're upset that the, the guy on our team doesn't make the play and we're saying he's worthless and we're saying you get to make all of this money, we should remember that these men are putting their lives on the line to live their dream. And tonight, DeMar Hamlin's dream became a nightmare for not only himself, but his family and his entire team.